Hey everybody, it's Mr. MathBlog here, and this uh, lesson is problem solving. We're going to find the number in the whole group using unit fractions. This is the last lesson in section 9 in chapter 8. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at Mr. MathBlog. There's our common core strand, and our central question here is how can we use the strategy, and we're going to draw a diagram to solve fraction problems. So I'll show you a few of them here. So here's one. Trevor has four blue marbles in his jar. One-third of the marbles are blue. How many marbles does Trevor have? I should have put all together. How many does he have all together? Okay, so uh, so what do we need to find? Well, we need to find uh, how many marbles Trevor has in his jar. That's what it's asking right here. So what information are we going to use? We're gonna, uh, Trevor has uh, four blue marbles up there. Uh, and it says um, uh, one-third of the marbles uh, in the jar are blue. So we know that these four marbles represent the one-third right there. Okay, so how are we going to use this information? We're gonna, it said in the uh, essential question that we're going to draw a diagram. So here we go. So the denominator in the one-third part tells us that there are three equal parts. So that's what the denominator is for, is how many equal parts in the whole in the whole group. So we're going to draw three circles to show the three equal parts. Okay, so there's three circles right there. All right, and then since four marbles are one-third of the whole group, then we're going to go ahead and draw four uh, counters in the first circle, okay, because this is going to be represent one out of the three, the one-third groups. So let's go ahead and draw four counters in there. All right, well, hopefully you can see what's going to happen now. Since there are uh, four counters in the first circle, we're going to go ahead and draw four counters in each of the remaining circles, and then we'll count up to how many counters are total. That'll tell us how many uh, marbles uh, Trevor has in his jar. Okay, let me move that up. Okay, so there's four more in that uh, uh, circle, and then there's four more in that circle right there. So uh, there are how many counters all together? Well, let's count them up. There's four here, plus four more gets us eight, and then plus four more gets us 12 right here. So there's 12 marbles all together, uh, 12 counters all together, so that means Trevor has 12 marbles in his jar. All right, let's try another one, you guys. A uh, uh, pet store has two calico kittens. Do you guys know what a calico kitten is? A uh, calico kitten typically has white on it and brown and sort of light brown on it. There's more than one color. And you guys probably didn't know this. I knew this because when I grew up with a calico kitten, uh, I have one right now. But most calico kittens are females. Uh, you don't find many male calico kittens. They're very rare. Anyways, let's get back to this problem. So a pet store has two calico kittens. Uh, One-eighth of the kittens are at the pet store that are calico. So these two calico kittens represent one-eighth. So how many kittens uh, does the pet store have? I should have put all together again. Okay, so let's read the problem. What do we need to find? Well, we need to find out how many total kittens the pet store has. That's usually this last question right here. How many kittens does the pet store have? Okay, so what information are we going to use? Well, we're going to use this information. There's two calico kittens, and and they represent the one-eighth of the kittens right there. So the pet store has two calico kittens. And one-eighth of the kittens at the pet store are calico kittens. Okay, so how are we going to use this information? Well, here we're going to go ahead and use draw diagram, the strategy. And let's go ahead and get started. So the denominator here, which is 8, 8 tells us that there are 8 equal parts uh, in the whole group. So let's go ahead and draw 8 circles to show the 8 equal parts. Okay, so there's 8 circles right there. All right, and then since two calico kittens represent the one-eighth of the whole group, then we're going to go ahead and draw two counters here in this first one, because this will represent one out of the eight equal parts right there. So we'll go ahead and put two counters in there. And then since there are two counters in, in the first circle, we're going to go ahead and draw two counters in each of the remaining circles, and then we'll count up the number of counters. That'll tell us how many kittens are at the pet store. Okay, so there's two counters in each of the circles right there. So there are, let's see, so do you guys know how to count by twos? Here's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So there are 16 counters total. So that means there's going to be 16 kittens at the pet store. Okay, you guys, take care.